Okay, hello. Welcome to the joy of the joy of painting with Bob Ross with Andy Field. I'm Andy Field and I'm still not very good at painting. Uh, today I'm going to be watching Bob Ross as he paints some form of a barn. Um, so, uh, painting a barn. Isn't that nice? Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm just listening to the credits now. It's just sort of the, the opening credits, obviously, not the end. That would be the, the wrong credits to be listening to. Uh, and then we're, we're going to crack on. I think I've prepared everything I can, but it's just really hard to tell, actually, isn't it? It's, maybe that's the wrong end. I think that's the wrong end. Now we're ready. Fantastic. Thank you, Bob. He says this one's a lot of fun, so fingers crossed. That's correct. Um... He also has a much larger palette than mine. Mine's quite small and he does a mix in colours a lot and I just find that uh, maybe I'm not doing that right and it's, it's kind of problematic. Um, just waiting for him to start, to be honest. He does a lot of rambling on, does Bob. Does a lot of chatting. Uh, I'm going to try and be positive as well. That's my theme, is being really encouraging to myself and not getting down. But... Uh, the problem is that the, the paintings that he tends to be doing just look so much more impressive than the paintings that I'm doing. And like normal, I have spoken over the colour, but I think we're going blue. So what we're going to do is get some blue on a big brush and maybe some white. I literally don't know. We're getting blue and white um, and we're going to kind of do... Oh, kind of like this. Oh, I've got like a hair on the brush. You don't want to have hairs on the brush. That's a that's a negative. That's bad for it. So we're kind of... He's doing a bit like this. A bit like this. His easel moves less than mine because it's better than mine. Um, I might even have to put this down. That's how, how crap my easel is. So we're doing this kind of thing. It seems to be kind of like this. And this is probably Sky. So, um, getting some sky in there, and that's always advantageous, uh, because otherwise the picture would have kind of like an abyss at the top of it, and everyone would be like, oh, where's the sky? So this is the sky part. If anything, the sky is the best bit, because it's you paint something blue, and it's almost impossible to do it wrong. And that's pretty close to what he's done, but the problem is I always try and... No, I think I'm just going to go all blue, to be honest, because I feel like he's trying to be clever, and I'm not clever enough, so I'm just going to make this bit blue. So here we go. That's a sky, and it is thoroughly blue. What's he doing now? He's getting some white in the middle, but there's... Oh. I think he's just kind of drying it out a bit. I think he's just kind of with a dry brush, just kind of smoothing this, smoothing this out a bit. And that's something I can do. Absolutely, I can do that. I love doing that. I'm doing it now. Look at me doing it. Here we go. I'm holding two brushes and no palette. <laughs> What's it? Uh! <laughs> We're having a good time. So he's just kind of blending it out. I've forgotten which brush is which. One of these has loads of paint on it and one of them has been used to... Is there a difference at this stage? I think I'll just wash them both. That's a good idea. All right, we've got this... This is odorless thinner that I bought and it's not that effective. So afterwards I have to hit them, hit them a lot in this bucket. So... That is as satisfying it is as it is ineffective. There's still loads of paint on the brushes. All right. Just kind of doing what I was doing. I feel like I've done this step, Bob. Move on. Move on. He's just smoothing the sky out more as if it matters. We're fine, mate. Crack on. What's next? Oh, we're doing an old barn. Oh, I forgot about the barn aspect immediately. Fucking hell. We're doing a lot of mountains and trees, and I saw a thumbnail said it, he's making a barn. I thought, a barn? Absolutely, I'm making a barn. Barns all day. What's he got? Van Dyke Brown. He's got one of these knifey things. So I've got some... I think this is the Van Dyke Brown. So I've got some of that on my, on my thing. 
and I'm just going to get it loaded up on the edge there and then I just need it to zoom out so I know where on the canvas this is happening but he's just kind of we're just going to kind of make it look like uh, the top of a top of a hut or a barn more specifically it's a barn very zoomed in oh okay so it's about here right Oh, I might not have enough paint on my, on my thing. It needs to be right on the edge, I think. There we go. And then another bit kind of like that. Yeah, there we go. Up close, it looks a lot like Marmite. But I'm going to just put that out of mind. Oh, God, he's done a whole extra bit. Okay, so he's also gone kind of like this. Oh, I've got not got enough paint yet again. Theme of this one, kind of like that. So that's the front of it, and then it kind of like that. Oh my gosh! That's the thing. I I I thrive more in a sort of a nature setting where it could be vague. Like, yeah, that looks a bit like a tree, but when we're talking about real world objects, I feel like I'm not there. Oh, he's got some red involved in it to. Make it look more like a barn. That's a smart move. I understand why he's the leader and I'm the follower. Okay. Add a little white to it. White. Add a little white to it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks fun. Right. And then I'm going to kind of just uh, make this kind of red. Oh, it's more purple than... Oh, I've kind of fucked that... Being positive, that's what I wanted it to look like. Okay. That's bad. The thing is as well, this is a very intricate thing to be doing, this tiny small bit. And uh, I, I, I'm assuming for you guys, it just looks like me just doing fuck all. Oh, see, I've really got the perspective wrong on this because it's supposed to kind of go like that and then I need like a side of it. I think making changes at this point isn't helping. Right, what are you doing now, Bob? Van Dyke Brown again? With you? And? Just Brown. Oh, he's being really intricate. That's the problem is he does these really intricate little touches and then I just bulldoze through that kind of approach because I'm incapable of being delicate. But this is kind of what we're doing. Kind of like that. You might be able to hear my dog barking. That's because she's a boisterous little angel and I'm not going to stand away in her personality. Let her bark. Let them know who lives here. Sophie Ellis Barks that fucking lives here. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is supposed to be kind of like red. Oh, I've got some proper red here. I forgot about that. Okay, so here, this, that'll be red. Kind of, oh man. I mean, it's just so shit, isn't it? It's the tiniest little brown splodge, and I'm trying to help it, but I'm not, not helping at all. Oh, hey, we've got three viewers. What a treat. Three, it's three every time. I don't know who it is. It must be my mum, my girlfriend, and my stalker. So, welcome all three of you. Thank you. Yeah, it's just sort of continuing on developing upon the barn that I, I've just fucked completely. Okay, maybe more... All right, well, I'll tell you what. I could just paint a better barn over the top of this barn. I don't, I don't know why I'm just accepting defeat and then just watching it. Let's take destiny into our own hands. We're, we're fixing this. Fixing this. Or making it worse. One of those is happening for sure. For sure, for sure. Alright, so and a problem I'm encountering now that Bob isn't covering, because it's not a problem that he has, is that this whole thing's the same colour now. So I guess it needs some red. for the. I'm going to put some red on the top of it, and then it will be a bit more... Um, Kind of like red, red tiles, you know, like, like, like a red roof. So that's what we're doing here with some red. Yeah. Great. That's red. Oh, I've scraped it again. Okay. 
So that's very clearly red, hopefully. Oh, we've moved on to a whole new thing. Thank God, I absolutely hate that, whatever that was. Right, getting some of this, getting some of this, mixing that together. I will tell you what colors they are. I think red and brown. Um, I just really don't know what he's up to. Okay, so this is the, the earth around the, the, um, the, the barn. Not to be confused with the barn itself, even though it looks a lot like the barn, because it's ooh, very similar color. Okay, how do we make this a different color? Maybe put some white in it? That would make it lighter? Oh, this isn't brown at all, is it? Okay, some more brown in it. I just feel like it wants to be the colour of earth and at the moment I've got this really like dusky pink going on and it's that's not what colour the ground is come on who hooperstank over hooperstank 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 I don't even know what he's doing Okay, so this is the earth here then. All right, we'll get the earth. If he, if he does something else with this bit down here, I'll just paint over it in a minute. I'm just gonna kind of, I'm going my own way. You know, for once, Bob, I feel like following you step by step hasn't actually been that helpful. So I'm, I'm going rogue. If I have to paint over this bit, I'll paint over it. So we've got a lovely kind of, kind of pinky earth here. So that's the earth. Um, he's, uh, Doing something else, I don't care. Got a bit of earth here. Uh, maybe some more brown in the earth might make it mo look more like earth. That's always worth trying. So there's some brown. Oh, that's more like earth, isn't it? All right, well, mix that all into the, to the thing, make it a bit darker at least. There we go. It's all happening now. So yeah, if you're following along at home, you just wanna just kinda uh, career into fuck ups repeatedly and style it out as best you can. Oh my God, he's doing another barn, but like a better barn. This is unbelievable. Okay, right, I thought we might be done on the barn front, but actually we haven't fucking started the barns. Barns. Wow, okay. I'm gonna talk you through this as best I can. He's basically performing acts of magic. And I'm going to try and copy uh, just the general vibe of his magic. So there's a line. That's pretty dead on. And then it goes like that. And like, like that. Yeah, and then, and then this is the roof of the barn. I can see why he didn't paint earth all over this area earlier because it's actually a barn so that's that's logical i think i'll, I'll allow that you know and then we're going to make it a little bit lighter for the walls just so that we can just try desperately to have kind of a different color um because at the moment we just kind of got a lot of a lot of whatever this is going on so and then th this is going to come down like that there we go I'm more just moving around the painting that's there, but hey, you know, that's that's also something to do, certainly. I'm just gonna do it a bit gentler to see if I can stop the, the lines coming up the sides, but I can't. Um, oh, okay, so it's like darker on the inside of the barn because, um, yeah, because that makes sense. It should be darker on the, there's less light, I guess. So I've got a big chunk of brown and I'm just going to see if I can kind of kind of make the inside noticeably darker. But no, same kind of colour yet again. I don't seem to be able to do a different colour with this. Maybe I'll just use a clean one. I bought two. If I can make, you, make, you, make your money work. Okay, so we've got a lot of brown. And we're just kind of sticking it around. Oh, no, I was supposed to do this on the inside, not the... Okay, well, I've fucked it again. We've not gone very well. But that there is a barn. <laughs> His barn looks like a proper barn. My barn looks like the other barn, but even bigger. Right, so I'm going to try and, like, redefine this, this roof to see if that can help us in any way. 
it's kind of like that. Doesn't really help at all, does it? And then it goes down like that, and that's more, that's inside. Maybe I should just write inside on it. Oh, he's smearing red up it. Okay, hang on, something else is happening now. We've reached a new chapter in Bob Ross's flare technique. Okay, so kind of like this. Oh, this is what I tried on the other one, but it just didn't really work. How do you get red paint onto... Let me just use the brush and see if that helps. He's not using a brush, but I'm going to, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of mix that in a bit, and then kind of like this. Yeah, that's a bit better, but I've just scooped up all of the gross paint again, so... There we go, kind of making it a bit red on the side now. Because it's supposed to be a red barn, so... I'm a, it needs to be redder, really, doesn't it? That's my main main point, if I was going to make one, is the red barn's not very red. And then in here, that's a different colour now, isn't it? Because that's, that's the inside of the barn. There we go, like that. That's the inside of the barn. And then I'm just going to try again to kind of define where this roof is. Hey, that's less... That's that's it's not good but it's less bad i'm i'm you know i've been more disheartened after trying something um haven't looked at the screen for a while but he is just kind of kind of on the same page as me but doing it in a way that's kind of much more impressive like really honestly i wish you could see the barn that he's painting right now because it's it's competent i'll give him that it definitely looks like a barn I think if I just keep going over the edges of this thing, then I might make it kind of seem like it's a barn. Yeah, that's barn-esque. Um, I'm gonna try and put some white in the uh, in the roof because that's what he's done. Oh, that's not white. That's white mixed with the other paint on this brush. That's a good point. I'm going to use a different brush and try and get some white onto this guy. Got some white here. Got to try and pick a bit that hasn't got other kinds of paint in it because there's been a lot of mixing. There we go. Kind of... No, it just mixes... It just makes the paint that's there lighter. It's more of a... Hard to get... What? Oh, I've done that. That's gone badly as well now. Okay, so we need... Where's the... That's the line. Come... The, Come on! There's a door on it as well now. Fine. Door. Let's do a door. This is what you've done to me, Bob. That's a fucking door. Are you happy now? Are you happy? You sick piece of shit. You. No, okay. That's not being very positive, is it? I'm really enjoying this, Bon. I'm absolutely incandescent with joy at having a, at realising how incapable I am of, of painting a barn. Um... So, what's he doing? He's putting sort of white around the edges just to kind of like uh, uh, make it a bit clearer where the edges are. And I think that's a good idea because that's something I've been working towards for a while. But I just can't seem to be able to get a white line to show up on it because, I don't know, I'm stupid. Something. That's kind of white. Oh, it's moved on. Okay, let's move on. That sounds fun. So just kind of getting some more earth in there, really. Um, great. I'm going to put this down because the easel's terrible. So more earth. Just kind of... This has actually worked out better because the, it's darker than the earth that I had before. So I'm just going to go over this earth. Um, there we go. Still working in brown tones, he says. That's, that's good. That is what I'm doing. And we're just kind of... Just just hanging out. Hang oh my goodness. They've just gone to a wide pan of his shot and it proper looks like a barn in a I'm worried we're quite close to the end of this painting actually. And I, I this is definitely the worst one I've done. Hundred percent, like without a that shadow of a doubt. I thought I might be getting more competent. I thought I might be building some skills, but just look at this absolute pile of shit. It's nearly finished. I swear to god I'm nearly finished. <laughs> Oh no! Give me some mountains back any day. Right, he's got some yellow and some green. So he's just kind of adding some um, 
we're going to add some kind of vegetation to this this stuff here and just make it a bit more like grass so that's nice that's kind of uh that's looking less bad but i still i just don't know how many other features he wants to involve in this painting so if we if we're done with the the barns then God, yeah. God, really gonna have to do some soul searching after this one. Dear. Just need to look at it from a... Yeah, wow, that is... Both these barns are unrecognisable as barns in totally different ways. Um, what can you do to fix that? No idea. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Barely know. Barely know what's happening at this point. I'm using it like this. That's a fun way. Oh, it's like, a, you know, this is how they paint on the continent. This is how they did uh, that, that chapel. It's Michelangelo's um, chapelle. I've missed what he was talking about, but he just said they don't, you don't realise how much they weigh until they step on you. And that does sound like, like a sage understanding of some subject. Right, so, this is, yeah, this is the worst one I've done so far. And this is me being positive as well. I think at the same time as being positive, we want to have like a realistic understanding of what it is that we're doing in the moment. And this one... I would be embarrassed to have done this as a child at school, I think, if, if we had like an art class and you came back with this, they'd just be like, are you okay? Like, are you trying? Do you care? And the truth is, no, yes, yes. No, I am trying. What was the first question? Is it yes, yes, yes? I've forgotten the three questions. Are you trying? Do you even care? That's two questions. I've forgotten. I've lost, I've lost my thread. He's literally, intricately right now, painting a fence. I'm just unsure about that, Bob. <sighs> okay, fine. Fine. All right, so you've got a kind of a fence going on, like that. See, this is the issue, you got a, he wants you to do a line, and I get this thing, it just doesn't, I don't know how he's doing that. It's so impactful when he gets a little line on there, and when I get a line on there, it just doesn't appear. All right, there, and there, and there. Hey, there we go, okay. So that's, these are fence posts. And then I'm gonna do some more, some kind of like that. Like that, and like that. Kind of the, this is the. Right, I mean his fence is going all around the whole field, but at the moment I'm struggling to make it go just, this is an arbitrary fence. If this fence was actually in a farm, you'd be like, that's in the way. It's not helping anyone. Oh, snapped on the, the back thing. All right, well, I mean, just more fence, why not? I do actually think I might be capable of this now that I've gotten a kind of uh, method out of it. So yeah, just there's a fence. Uh, feel free to put your fence wherever you want your fence to go. It's a happy little fence. You just be fucking, just have a good time with it. Might have a big bit of fence here. Oh dear. Might have. Might have a big fence here. And then kind of like, and it's kind of going that way. There we go. Sort of. And then kind of like this. I got some blue for this bit of fence because I uh, just picked up the wrong colour. I thought it was black. So if you want to do these bits of fence, I would recommend doing it black or just the same colour as the, as the posts um, because otherwise it's like, what's going on there? And your answer would be, um, I've picked the wrong colour. Oh, it looks like I've got a really terrible wound in my hand, but it's, uh, I think it's exclusively red paint. Oh, it's on my hands now. Well, it was on my hands before, I suppose. Now it's on both of my hands, which is, you know, 
an extra blue. Um, yeah, intricately making a fence. Kind of maybe I'll. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna add my own twist to this. I'm becoming. I'm becoming uh, loose enough. Let's put a little farm animal on this farm. So a sheep. Sure. What colours a sheep? Sheep, but white. Answering my own questions here. So we got some white on the brush, and you just want to kind of paint the general. Sh it's kind of still very green. So just going to get some more white. And just kind of try and make the white appear more of a... Oh God, that's gone really bad. Okay, maybe it's a black sheep. A black sheep would show up better, wouldn't it? Maybe. Okay. Oh, this is blue. <laughs> okay, I've done it again. All right, so we've got like a sheep here. And it's very nice in that sense. And it's got kind of like an eye... It's a nice guy. Leg there, couple legs. And he's just having a good time. He's just a little sheep. And he's 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 here for a good time, not a long time. Because sheep don't live very long. And they like to have they like to have parties. I think I might have accidentally given him five legs, but maybe this one here is his dick. There we go. A bit of sperm and his balls. Um oh and he's signing it. Why not? Andy. Proud of this one, to be honest. You'd have thought it might be a low point doing such a low quality painting, but fair thing I've enjoyed it more than the others. And I look forward to doing another one with you next week. Thanks very much. Have a great week.